Hello, hello! My name is Arden and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another speed build for our St. Patrick's Day slash Shamrock Day themed island called Shamrock. So today we're going to be doing kind of this area in here and yeah, we're just going to fill it on up. We're going to make it kind of like a party main square area like it's like it's St. Patrick's Day and the town is having their their party their festivities I don't know <laughs> I need something to do with this area and I think it worked so yeah that is what we're gonna do so yeah we're just gonna start by once again laying down just a bunch of pathing because this whole area is gonna be you know just like a, a town square type of deal there's not gonna be a ton of landscaping I think I'm gonna put a tree or two but you know, it is kind of like the center of town where everything is happening. Uh, we're gonna turn my house into kind of a pub thing, deal type of, type of area. I don't know. Um, but then Abel Sisters, I don't know. I just needed a place to put Abel's and it fit here. So it, it was nice to have like another storefront kind of in this little area. But yeah, that is what we're doing. And we're putting down pathing up here because kind of when you get the camera out in this area and you pan up, it's it's going to show kind of the underside of the buildings. But yeah, so to start off with, um, I'm just making kind of a little series of archways as an entrance. I thought that would be visually interesting. I don't know. <laughs> it's something. It's, it's there. I thought it looked cool. So and we did it kind of like over by the train station and stuff too. So... I thought it looked cool and just a little bit different. And here we're just putting down uh, walls and storefronts just to make it look a little more like these are buildings and this, this whole area is very small town urban vibes. I switched out the walls uh, real quick though with uh, the medieval, oh, what is it called? It's the medieval front wall. It might be like a medieval storefront or something, but it's the, the other version that has the, the shingles. I don't know. I just thought it looked a little bit better, at least for that part, since there are buildings there. And I'm putting down a spot for another tree and I'm adding just like a couple of the carnival games just as I don't know something that's maybe like you got the the party going on maybe you got a couple of games you know <laughs> I don't know and I added a bunch of the festival garlands and the dance pad things and the confetti machines just to add a little bit of I don't know very like party vibes you know instead of just like this is an everyday square with decorations I feel like those scream we are having a party we are having fun so so I just put down some of those now I wanted kind of a place for a bunch of people to sit and drink and have snacks so I put down the benches and I found these tables that I thought would work pretty well and I just I customized the little cloth on them to have you know the shamrock pattern that we're using everywhere and yeah that's kind of that. Up here I'm just building up the, well, the the buildings that I want to have you know around the square and behind my house and Able Sisters so we're just kind of making some false fronts and trying to fill in that space just a little bit and yeah and then in between them uh because it looks kind of funky when i panned up i put just a couple of the gates because they were they were longer they're a little bit longer than the walls but yeah and here we are starting 
on my house. So this main room is going to be the actual pub, you know, the actual bar area. And I wanted bar seating, a little covered kind of cash register area, and then more like a couch and table kind of seating area. Uh, but yeah, we're just going for that kind of classic pub bar vibe. So, so yeah, then it's going to be kind of that same, same thing I did with the shops in the last video. It's going to be kind of that St. Patrick's Day themed, like we're, okay, we decorated for the holiday kind of thing. And I tried to kind of fill up the walls as best I could, so there is just a bunch of KK albums because uh, I thought it looked kind of cool and barry. So yeah, I just I, I feel like I've never been inside a bar or pub kind of setting where the walls weren't just like absolutely covered in signs and albums and posters and stuff like that. And then we're moving on to the back room. So this, I literally did just want to have be a kind of back room storage area. Um, I didn't want to do it in the basement because the basement's going to be something else you'll see in a second, but I wanted kind of a storage room and I wanted it to also be the bathroom <laughs> because I feel like, you know, in bars and stuff, you go sometimes downstairs and, or like, even if you just go to the bathroom in the back, it's, it's like it backs up to the storage area or something and it's, a little like a little dark and a little little iffy looking but but yeah i just wanted it to, to kind of have that vibe of the back room the storage area where all the all the cases of <laughs> everything is and And yeah, now we're going on to the room. This is the room to the left of the main room. And this one I wanted to have kind of be like the game room. So the pool tables in here, some arcade machines. And like this is the room where you go and you don't want to be at the bar, but you want to, you know, play pool or something. 
So yeah. One thing I really love doing in like any room in this game is putting neon lights up around, you know, the top of the walls by the ceiling. Where else would it? Th anyway, th yeah, the, the top of the walls by the ceiling. <laughs> but I, I think it looks really cool, and I think it, you can create just like a cool, a cool ambiance with it, an ambulance. Um, I like the green hue. <laughs> I don't know. I, bet I was going for glow. That was the word I was thinking. The green glow. I like it. I think it looks kind of neat. And very St. Patrick's Day. Once again, adding just decorations for the holiday. Like the bar owner came in here and just kind of threw some stuff up and, and called it done. And yeah, that is that room. And now we're going on to the room to the right of the main room. And this one, I I did not know what to do with this room uh, at all. I But I, I kind of figured it would be nice to have more of not, I want to say a dining area, but I don't know that it really is a dining area. It's more just like a place with tables. More if you don't want to sit at the bar or at those couches, you know, there's just extra seating where you can go and sit and maybe have a cup of tea instead or yeah just have something quick to eat but that way you can sit down and it looks like a little more homey cozy housey <laughs> i already said homey i don't know i didn't know what to do with i didn't know what to do with this room okay <laughs> this is what we ended up with all right this is we're winging it that's that's all we're doing all right, we're just, we're winging it all the way. All day, every day, we're just guessing. Just with a hope and a prayer, we're, we're just trying to get by in this silly little game. And in here, I did throw up more of the, you know, the penance because I figured it, it needed a little bit more space. I don't know. And yeah, I did, I did get rid of the window because when I did this in room sketch, there was a side window and I liked how it looked, but the window on the end was not the vibe. So I did take away the window that, and too, that way you can control the light. And then down here, we are making a kind of brewery tasting type of area. I keep avoiding saying beer. I don't know why. I can say that in an Animal Crossing video, right? Like that's not, that's not to us, right? That, that, that's fine. Right? That seems, it seems like such a stupid thing to not be able to say, but like I would not put it past, you know, in terms of service to like not let me say beer in one of these videos. But anyway, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not cursing. I'm trying very, very hard, okay, to not curse. So I think we're doing okay. But yeah, this is our little tasting area. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> I just thought it would be cool to have just like a little basement brewery area um and again i didn't know what to put on the walls in here so i put just like a couple of the hha pennants and stuff like it's the award-winning beer or something and yeah that is that's kind of what we ended up with i think it turned out cute i think it looks you know it looks like a tasting room kind of more or less it gets it gets there i think oh no but yeah and I was really hoping that that sink would kind of look like taps because there's nothing else that looks like beer taps. Now going upstairs, we're gonna do the place where, well, I live or, you know, where the, the bar owner lives. So I wanted to do a full little apartment with, you know, a bathroom, a kitchen, a bedroom, a sitting area, you know, dining table. All of that, I wanted to stuff it into the space. I'm not, I don't know. I like the layout in the sense of I like that it created a small area in front with the bed and the couch and stuff. I do like that quarter. <laughs> I, I like the whole thing, but um, yeah, I think I, I'm happy with how it turned out. At this point, I was getting very, very tired 
I think this was at about three hours in. Uh, <laughs> I think that's when we were doing this room. And yeah, for this whole video, I, I basically went into room sketch on my other Switch and designed all the rooms and then wrote down all the stuff I needed and went and got, <laughs> went and got, went to Treasure Islands and like ordered all of the stuff, customized a bunch of stuff <laughs> and then plopped it in here. So it was a lot. Um, I, I don't know if I'll do it that way again. I feel like there's gotta be a better way to do this. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. But but yeah, that that's. If you're wondering how I did all of this in one go, that is that is how is through careful, meticulous planning, and unnecessary effort. <laughs> but but yeah, that's that's this. And I used rugs to kind of divide the spaces a little bit. Um, the beige rug, I don't know, I tried the brown one, and I like the beige one better, so that's what we stuck with. But yeah, I wanted it to feel really just like a cozy little upstairs apartment. And I fiddled with the lighting, but as you can see here, like, it doesn't super work, so I may end up in the dream address getting, or the final tour, getting rid of the windows up here, but I do, I do like them. I just, I wish that I could control the lighting a little bit more, make it a little darker, a little just cozier. Oh yeah, that is that. So now let's do a little walkthrough of the place. put uh, Lucky KK on the jukebox because what else are we gonna put on the jukebox on this island <laughs> but that and yeah so this is our finished house this is our main area you know with the pub we have our our mop <laughs> it's really fancy it looks really great um but yeah just like a, a simple kind of pub bar area with cluttered walls, and I really liked alternating the stained glass light um, between those two colors. I, th I don't know, I think it fit the, the vibe pretty well. And yeah, that is our little pub. You've got all the music on the walls, you've got some awards for again, like, you know, maybe the be their beer wins awards, I don't know. Um, and I'm not saying it's better than Guinness, but you know, hey. It, it might be pretty good. But yeah, and it's decorated for St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, then we scooch on back here. And then that takes us to the back room. And here is our little mini public restroom. And the storage area. And this, like, storage area isn't super accessible. But, but you know, you can walk out there like a little bit. But I just wanted it super full, super cluttered like a real deal storage area. Uh, I did get rid of the windows in here to control the lighting and make it just darker. I don't want to say basement -er, but I kind of, you know, kind of want that vibe. Or at least just like a dark back, ro back room where they shove everything, you know. But yeah, that is how that turned out. Then we're going to go on to the left and we have our game room. I do like how this turned out, especially the lighting. I'm really happy with the lighting. Um, I put in the cherry lamp just to kind of break it up a little bit, but, but yeah, I like how it turned out. Just someplace, you know, really fun and just something that still has the bar vibe, but is very separate from like the pub part of it. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe things. I don't know if you could tell, um, but I don't know how to describe things, okay, Then I am looking at. But yeah, that's how that turned out. I feel like when in doubt, neon lights will save the day. So then we're going to go over to the right. And here is our little dining room. I think it feels pretty cozy, you know, with the bookshelf and everything. And yeah, again, just kind of decorated for St. Patrick's Day um, in the year. That is, that is our little room. I just kind of put some art on the walls. I, I need to add, I, so I ran out of the, I ran out of the, the little paper chains, 
I'm a, I'll, I'll put some in there for the dream address. But at that point, I was so tired, I just wanted to be done. So that's, <laughs> that's where we were at. I'm sure you understand. Then we're going to go downstairs to our little tasting room. And again, I think this turned out cute. I, you know, I think it gets the vibe across. This one, I felt like, and I think it's just me because I like clutter. It feels kind of bare. Um, but I, at the same time, I feel like that might be a good thing because it's kind of a good contrast. But yeah, I've got, I still got some stuff on the walls. You know, we got the bottles and we have, I put the uh, formal papers on the wall because I figured that's like, maybe like their alcohol license. Um, something like that. But yeah, just a fun and funky fresh little cozy basement tasting area. I don't know. Then finally, we're gonna go back on upstairs to my living area. Here is the little apartment. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, turn on the TV because I feel like you always have to turn on the TV. If you don't, what are you doing? I wanted it to be really cozy and kind of quiet and just kind of in contrast to downstairs i mean it does it is similar you know especially the wallpaper and everything to uh downstairs to the right room the dining area but still i feel like that's okay it's kind of more the house part of the bar it's more lived in feeling and yeah i don't know how else to describe it other than cozy that's just how i wanted it to be and also functional, which I thought was pretty cool. I was I was pretty happy I got um, all that stuff fit in there. But yeah, that is our house. Now for just a quick run around of what we did outside. We come out of the pub and we have our party area. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we got Drake. Uh, yeah, uh, what's your face? The squirrel, uh, Nibbles, Nibbles moved out. And that was a very, very happy day. But yeah, so we got, we got him. But anyway, this is our party area. <laughs> um, I think it's, I think it's, I think it works. I may add some stuff just on the ground. The ground itself feels kind of bare. So this is an area that may change a little bit for the final tour and the dream address. But, but yeah, I like how it turned out. It's kind of a funky space, this long area, but I really like how it, you know the arches look as the dividing wall between the entrance and here i think that's pretty neat and i liked putting the uh confetti machines behind you know the walls so it looks like i don't know there's just confetti in the air and yeah i like it i think it turned out pretty cute pretty cute i was really happy that you know the carnival items came or the well the plaza items came in green but yeah and then next time we are gonna work on this area and that's gonna be the fish and chip shop uh lyman's fish and chip shop um i say that i mean i wanted somebody to have it but then when i got him i noticed that he said chips like that was his phrase so i mean you just you have to do him as the fish and chip shop guy but anyway that's the plan for next time and yeah thank you so much for watching that is going to be it for this tour and I will see you on the next one. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked the video. It helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye! Psst. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Go watch this video next. It's a fun time. I promise. Okay, bye.